Okay guys, Dan the Wolfman here, Mixed Martial Arts for SelfDefense.com. I'm going to share a drill with you that I think is very important no matter what style you do. I'm showing this right now in a Muay Thai class because it helps out your MMA, your Muay Thai, your grappling, everything. If you learn to breathe and relax, that's important. Breathing helps your endurance throughout the fight. Uh, I, I had natural and better breathing and some of this uh, from this, um, doing this that helped me uh, last longer than all the skinny rip dudes. Uh, I could grapple, used to be able to grapple for like three hours straight. Okay, and it's going to teach you some um, fighting ability too and how to hit deep. Uh, we borrow this from Sistema. So here's a push and a punch drill, but really you should do it no matter what your style is. So we're just going to start out by pushing nice and light and giving or yielding. Okay? Okay, no matter where he pushes, he push my stomach. I might cave, I might move, push straight. I'll cave to that one. Okay, but I keep spinal posture, I don't drop my head. I keep aligned even if I cave. Push on my leg too if you want. I open up the hips maybe, depending on where his energy is. Okay, so we push. We start pushing a little harder. Okay. So start with the push and breathe. Okay, then start punching. Okay, so you do any kind of punches. And then I'll show a few different ones. Do that one too. Do this one on the shoulder. It's like flinching using your natural instincts. Okay, here's some strikes you can do. You can do the four knuckle strike, which teaches you for MMA and the over under clinch to hit him with that wraparound punch. Um, I did that in the fight against Jeremy Hart. Uh, Igor Vachanchin used to do this. If I was in guard, wraparound punches if you have his posture broken down. Okay, so that's really important. It's also sometimes very good to hit someone in the flank here with that knuckle digging. So this is a good one to do. So just do this one. So there's a good punch to practice. I like this in the over-under clinch as well. I do it right here. One you can take. Can you take three? And then his posture's broken and I can get the takedown. So do three in a row. One doesn't do anything, but you hit three in a row right here, guys, it's usually going to collapse his posture. Easy takedown. Okay. So, you know, learning how to punch deep in the body is very important. Okay, next would be uh, the backhand slap, which I showed earlier on all the bags against like five different opponents. Then you're going to sink deep into him. Okay. Good. Similar to that's the hammer, which, which he's good at. Don't, don't stop and retract, but penetrate in deep as if he's not there. And that's going to help your hammer fist on the ground quite a bit. He's getting good at taking them. He's breathing because these are, these are pretty nasty. All right? Okay. Uh, ox jaw backhand little slap here. Going deep. It's okay. Here, not just slap, but go deep into the body. Good. You now freestyle. And the corkscrew punch. I like this one a lot. Which can be applied, you know, fighting. I can corkscrew down to the body sometimes. Corkscrew punch. I can actually hurt people going just relax. I can do it, hurt someone by going slow. This is a nice little parlor trick when you're drinking out with guys too. You're like, I can hurt you by going this slow. And you actually punch that slow. Okay? And you go deep. See that? Dropped his posture here and whatever else. Don't use your shoulders so much. Stay nice and relaxed. It's going to sink his hips. It's breaking his, his posture. Okay? So, push and punch drill. Go back to pushing. Punching. Different kinds of punches. So that's the push and punch drill incorporated into uh, your style, guys. It's, it's really good. It teaches you to relax and breathe. Learning how to be loose with your arms teaches you a lot about arm lock defense as well. Um, you know, it's something good to open up with to be like this. Your yeah, grappling actually flows better afterwards. And oh, let me show a little bit more. Start punching. Again. It's going to teach you natural reactions to be able to do stuff without loading up and getting in fighting stance.
Okay, so I can take his. I can take. Go ahead. Keep going. I can take it and use that energy to hit. Okay, it's going to teach you that instinctive, like maybe you get sucker punch. Hopefully, this is going to help you learn to roll with the power like a boxer does. Okay, and then come back with that. Okay, so there's a little bit on some systemic push and punch drill that I've picked up and used. Alright, thanks. MMA for self-defense.com.